sitting here with my Lion of Zion, my uh, cuddly one, and welcome. Um, today, I'm going to spotlight one of the most important prophecies of the end time revelator is what Paul predicted in the book of Thessalonians, that in the latter days would come the revelation of who we really are. Without knowing who we really are, uh, we've not known who we really are. <laughs> and that's a problem because there's an emptiness of untruth within us and big question marks because we don't even understand our own identity. So who are we? Uh, the Bible says that all creation has been groaning with great expectation for the revelation of who are the sons and daughters of God. Jesus said in uh, John uh, 10 that uh, we are God's, uh, being children of God. And what he meant by that is that we're all angels or demons in the flesh. And that is the truth. It's just our choice. If we commit unforgivable sin of letting our love light wax right cold, we have become demons and we're cast into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And so don't think I'm not preaching what the Bible actually says. But the truth is that everything has been twisted in our understandings. The Bible is clear uh, that um, the glory of the Lord's latter house is greater than that of the former. And the Bible is clear that the first are last and the last are first. We were the last created because we were created fearfully and wonderfully higher than the angels. A greater shining once we were released. And uh, you know, God, God sees us not as we are, but as we will be. And his promise uh, of everlasting forgiveness over us of the Kingdom Age New Covenant clearly says, I am your God, you are my people, I will forgive your iniquity I have now, and I'll never remember it again. If he remembered it, he would have been a liar. So the accuser of the brethren, day and night before the Lord had to be removed, which was Satan. So now here we are in a world uh, where according to scripture, he has been removed because Satan would have made God a liar. He, he, because he's the accuser of the brethren, if he wasn't kicked out of heaven, he would have kept doing one of these. Hey, but did you hear about Daniel? Did you hear about that one? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he would have, God could never have said to us, I will forgive your iniquity and never remember it if Satan's right there. So praise God, it's time for uh, that devil to be cast into the fieriest pit of hell for the next thousand years. And you know, uh, it is foretold that in the latter days that this would happen in the book of Isaiah uh, prophecy that pointed right to Daniel 12. And uh, I am the latter day Daniel who has embraced his destiny as Elijah. I've known my identity for 30 years. I wrote 200 books, couldn't get nobody to look at. And then I've made 10,000 videos that nobody will look at either. I've done everything in vain. Isaiah 49, 4 wrote of me, not of uh, Christ Jesus. He never did anything in vain. But the truth is God will still have his way and the clouds are but dust under his uh, feet. Now, a little bit about myself. Um, I've never preached a day in my life, never. Um, I did write 200 books. Google my name, Daniel F. Owsley. And you'll, they're all over the place. No one, you know. It is written of things concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hands commanding me. I did and I demanded a uh, sign from our Lord like Gideon. I wanted to fleece wet or uh, the ground dry and vice versa kind of thing. Next thing I know, God uh, supernaturally turned on a light bulb and it was never plugged in. It was three feet away from the plug. And he got my attention. And then a prophet pointed to Isaiah 49 as the one who would do everything in vain and showed me that's you. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. I didn't fully understand it 30 years ago, but I've, I have a crystal clear vision of the problem of our loveless world is that everybody has a false God. Everybody that has a, a, a God that condemns them because the secret of uh, Revelation 10, 7, the secret of uh, Mark 4, secret name of Christ, is all the same secret source. His love has been veiled, and he 
declares that there is no love at all divine if there, it is conditional. Uh, true love can only have no strings attached. And if people don't want to believe this truth, let them keep bowing down to a false god. And uh, as the world snubs me, the only man in the world that truly has the true picture of our living love of the ages, all other people are embracing the gross darkness of Isaiah 60, and they are the, the terrors, all viewers that snub me out, they are the terrors, and I am the only acknowledged we in the world, and that is why, as one whose eyes are red, uh, because of, uh, you know, wine doesn't make your eye, eyes red, but when you're smoking a little bit of THC, it does happen. But one thing for sure, it is foretold that Shiloh, which is never has been Jesus, Shiloh would have red, eyes red and dull of wine, and he'd have milky teeth, milky white teeth, because they're fake. And so the Bible predicted the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2. The vision was written plainly on the tablets, and people were told, Behold, ye whose soul is not upright, and none of your souls are upright either. There is no good man, no, not even one. So get off the post of all the false prophet bullshit, because if you want love increased in this world, you better start sharing preachers of love with one another like Red Ruddy. A love, a light, Red Ruddy, and uh, myself here at this channel because we are preaching the true loving God who has promised in these latter days to remove the veil of our uh, gross darkness from off all nations through the everlasting gospel. Uh, and I am the writer of the everlasting gospel, one like Moses. Go, go back to the very first video uh, with this uh, uh, background. Uh, I think it's seven, eight nine videos down, you'll hear the everlasting gospel that was predicted clearly in Revelation 14 that would exalt creation. And uh, so uh, there's so many um, ways to prove that I am of God. Uh, and the Bible declares that all coming forth uh, saying that Christ came in the flesh are of God. And so even though I qualify, people are still stubbing, snubbing me because they don't realize, it, even if I was preaching a, a lie, which I'm not, he has unconditional love for us. But if people uh, believed me, and if they did believe that, what's going to happen? Well, then they would believe that as I preach always, that Christ is the resurrected Lamb of God, the Lion thereof. And so what would happen if they believed my false message, if it was a false message? Well, if they believed that I'm telling the truth, then they would come to believe that Christ is love. Oh my God! That would be a so terrible thing that they would actually believe in Jesus. And uh, everybody doesn't want that noise out there because it's not on their terms. There's conditions there, and none of you watching me have any real love.